Welcome back to Red River Living. As you can tell, we're out in the garden this afternoon and we're just gonna kind of give an overview. Y'all probably saw the clip where we had Brady come in and do some tilling for us this year with the tractor. And once he came in and tilled, we put our plastic back down. Um, we didn't cover the complete garden. There's some of it that's not on plastic. Um, and that was intentional. Um, I've grown some things off plastic just to see the difference and if the plastic made any difference or not. Um, but we do have more ground under plastic this year than we did last year. I've, if you like, we'll kind of walk around the garden a little bit. I'll kind of tour some of our raised beds and kind of show you some of that right here. Um, you see right here, this is where our onions are in this bed. And they are starting to, um, the bulbs starting to get bigger on them. One of the things that I had read about was removing some of the dirt around the top side of them so that they would just start getting bigger. And I actually did that when I was watering them the other night. I just took the water hose and just started washing the dirt away from them just a little bit. But this is our onions right here. This bed right here, you're gonna see a little bit of mixture of stuff in it. We had some extra room, so some extra stuff ended up in this bed. But right here, we have started our asparagus and we've got it growing right now. This is something we won't be harvesting for, it'll take basically our third year before we start harvesting our asparagus. But one of the things me and Debbie talked about was if we don't ever start, we'll never have our own. So we've started us some asparagus here but some onions ended up in it and two tomato plants. I don't know how the tomatoes ended up in it. I didn't plant them here, but we ended up with two tomato plants in here with them also. Just, uh, I guess Debbie probably just stuck them in the dirt or something. I'm not sure, but this is one of them things. Hey, it's a long range plant thing. And I think on asparagus, it's one of those, we're gonna plant that. I may plant that the next two or three years and just to keep it going. So some of it is producing in three, then some of it will be starting about the fourth year. But my plan is I'm gonna to try to start planting some of it every year just to kind of expand this and have more of it. As you can see right here, this is our strawberries here. Um, hey, some of my handiwork here, some of my um, oak tree acorns ended up in Miss Debbie's raised flower bed and I gotta get these trees out of here. But the strawberries are starting to put on and there is sure a different taste between getting them at the grocery store and growing them yourself till they're ripe and picking them. We started playing with some grapevines. Um, I don't know, I'm not sure what variety this is right here, but we've got a couple here that's lived, and then we've got three. We've had three that survived, and we had three die that never really come out this year. So we'll probably be getting back with the nursery on those and see if they'll replace them. And if they don't, we'll probably buy some more of those. I just, one of the things we just wanted to try grapes and see how it would work. Here's our blackberries. So here's our fruit trees, the ones with the fruit tags still on them, the big tags right there. Those are the ones we put in the ground this year. They died last year, so we put some new ones in the ground this year, and hopefully it's going to be a better year for those. So we just got to keep our eyes on the fruit trees. You'll see over here, here's our tomatoes. We've got our tomatoes set up on our uh, system here on our plastic. Um, I think I have like 56 maybe 58 tomato plants or something. And somebody's like, my goodness, what are you gonna do with all them tomatoes? But anyway, I hope they make this year. We've got them in the ground a little bit earlier. We've got them blooming a little bit. So we'll see how the tomatoes go. This is our, I got two rows of peppers and that's anywhere from jalapeno peppers to banana peppers. Cayenne peppers. I even planted some habanero peppers this year. Just to, I wanted to see how they'd grow and see what they might look like when they get bigger. Green beans. And 
And then here's two rows of butter beans right here. What we call, what my grandparents grew, speckled butter beans. So here you can see the corn. The corn's been a little bit of a challenge this year. I've planted it twice now. Um, we've had some of it come up. This one particular row came up really well. And then the other rows were really spotty. So I've gone back and replanted that. Last year, we had five rows and picked a little over 300 uh, ears of corn last year. And sweet corn is something that we really like. Um, so we've basically, I think Debbie and I are holding our last freezer bag of corn. Um, but we only have one bag left, I think, in our freezer. I think the kids got some still, but Debbie and I about cooked all of our corn up. So we plant an extra three rows, and then my rows are a little bit longer. So hopefully the corn's going to play out and do really well. I moved the um, potatoes down here to the far end. So, so here's the potatoes down here. The kids helped me plant these potatoes. And as you can tell, we got three rows of potatoes. Some of these potatoes are the potatoes that we had in the cabinet um, from last year. And of course they, um, I don't know the right word, budded out. And we just brought those potatoes out here and planted them. There's two rows of those. And then this one row beside me here is the potatoes that we bought and planted, that would be this row here. But there's two rows of potatoes that are actually from the potatoes we raised last year. And this far row, I've already started pulling the dirt up to them. They're really growing well. So I'm pulling the dirt up on them and hopefully they'll really make uh, a lot better than they did last year. Well guys, you can see right here to my side, we've got some cabbage planted right here. It looks like I'm going to have to get out here and put maybe a little seven dust on it. I can see where something's eating on the leaves of it a little bit here. So I'll probably get out here with a little bit of seven dust and put on them. I don't see no bugs on them, but I can definitely tell the leaves are being eaten on a little bit. So I need to probably tend to those. But the onions you see over here to my right, those are the onions I brought from Mississippi. And I probably didn't have five seeds when I brought them here. And this past one, before we killed up, I had them dug up and... I put them back out. It looks like they're trying to go to seed right now, so I probably need to cut the top side of them. I'll probably call my Uncle Dickie about that and ask him what's the best thing to do there. If, if I just need to cut the top side of them so they'll start multiplying, or I may just start planting the seeds out of the heads. I'm not sure there. But, guys, you probably can tell our water system, we've started running our lines here. We're going to um, go over that with y'all and kind of tell y'all a little bit of the difference that we've done from last year to this year, but we're going to shoot that probably in a different video and talk about the water system, which really has been a game changer here for us to where we can water the garden and everything. Hand watering is just really time consuming and the system that Debbie's done the research on, we'll probably go over that and give y'all an update on that, kind of tell you how we laid it out. And um, I'll try to have some sizes of what line we ran and just give you an overview of how the water system went. But guys, as always, hey, we appreciate y'all watching. We'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time.